Hey, Michael Brandt here with Garage Bound LLC in Chad. A new guy out of Tennessee, Milwaukee Tool has completely outdone themselves when it comes to this metal cutting circular saw. It just like has blown my mind, it's changed the way we've been doing things around the shop for uh, the hard way to the easy way. You just grab this saw, you can rip 45s through square uh, tubing, you can cut 3 8 plate, we've cut some half inch plate with it. And we're going to tell you everything that we know about the tool from in-shop use as well as the stats and stuff from the tool from the factory. Stay tuned. Let's talk about the blades for a second on the metal cutting circular saw. Uh, you can use a 5 and 3 8 blade or all the way up to a 5 and 7 8 blade. It comes with the 5 and 3 8. We plan on getting a 5 and 7 8 blade because that will add us a little more cut depth ability. Um, the tool rests nice like that if you put the guard up. If you rotate the blade then there's a lock position here that you can push down with your thumb to lock the blade in position and then you can use your allen wrench to uh, simply undo the arbor nut and then pull that out and gain access to the blade outside of the tool. Bolts, washer, pick this up and put the blade out. Putting the blade back in, easy as cherry pie. Roll up the guard, set the blade in there, put your nut on, your washer here. Put your bolt in. Get it started. Use your Allen wrench that is actually attached to the tool so that you don't ever lose it, hopefully. Tighten it down. Come back over here. Put your thumb lock here. Rotate the blade until it locks into position. And then simply tighten it. Just like that. Bang, bang. Put the Allen wrench back in its carrier holder position, and you're good to go. Sit beautifully on display. One of the great benefits to this tool is the hang hook that Milwaukee has incorporated into the handle here. Real easy to use. You grab it with your index and your middle finger, or whichever fingers fit in there best. You pull it out, you lift it up, you can even slide it back a bit. So, Super convenient tool to use on the job site if you're doing multiple cuts. That way you don't have to lay the hand down every time. Grab it right in the cutting position. For the areas that are not well lit when you're working, as soon as you push the safety release, the LED light does come on and it does a great job of uh, lighting the area you're going to be able to cut, say if you're following a, a layout line. One charge, the metal cutting circular saw will cut up to 370 cuts in three quarter inch EMT. We don't do electrical work, so we're not going to be able to gauge it by that. Uh, though, you know, any battery is, depends on how much usage and how much torque you're putting against the battery, so uh, that's a pretty good rating if you're cutting EMT. The tool weight by itself without a battery is 4.8 pounds. Right now we have a 12 amp hour battery on here. We use 12 amp hour batteries as often as we can just because they last longer. Uh, the RPM for this machine is 3,900 RPM, so it's almost like a cold saw. Let's get to the best part and start cutting some stuff. Just for argument's sakes, we put a brand new, fully charged XC 5.0 amp hour battery on this saw. We have a variety of different metals, 11 gauge, 1 inch square tubing, solid 3 quarter inch aluminum, 1 inch square tubing aluminum, 11 gauge. Uh, 11 gauge, uh, inch and a half steel angle, and some one by three rectangular tubing. We're gonna do a straight cut and a 45 cut on some of these. We're just gonna kick this material's butt and we're gonna see how much battery it actually ate up to do that.
S3 Ace flat bar, like a boss. Damn, that was quite a bit of cutting. We haven't even used one bar yet, so we could probably rip through all this material no problem on one battery, if not more. Okay, I just want to talk about the cut quality. You can see here, there are no burrs on that one by three angle here. The other thing is that since it's taking the material out, it doesn't build up a lot of heat inside the material after you've cut it. You can touch this stuff immediately after it's been cut and it's not gonna burn your hand. But most of the time you have gloves on anyway. So check out all these pieces. This is the three quarter inch solid aluminum bar. Nice clean 45 cut. It's a nice clean square cut. There's just a little burr there. No problem, comes right off. Um, cuts through this uh, inch and a half angle. No problem, very little burrs. There's one burr right here on the end. So it's a really amazing tool. So this tool is going to do a great job at replacing some of the very expensive cutoff wheels that we use. We usually use the six inch cutoff wheel. Uh, we, a lot of times we're using it sideways, you know, requires face shield and safety glasses. This is just gonna require safety glasses. We could probably get, I know for sure, we'll get many more cuts off of one of these wheels than we would the, the fiber cutoff wheels. So I'm really strongly considering getting another one or two of these. We'll add them to different workstations throughout the shop. That way each person can be using these. It's safer, it's faster, it's gonna save less time and money.